boys, I'm back with another story. So I wanted to ask you all a question. What do you boys think of this book series so far? So I'm only going to be reading the, the dragon books for a couple of more days before I read something else and then the year is over. But if you boys really like these dragon books, I still plan on doing reading over the summer. Not every day, like I have been doing, but over the summer I'll probably read maybe two books during the week. So if you wanna hear it over and over, you can. So if you like the dragon books, I can read a lot more. So boys, today I'm going to read a dragon book. It's called Train Your Dragon to Follow Rules. Also, let me know if you enjoy it, if Diggory makes appearances in his stories, because I know he likes to read to you whenever he can. Okay. So we're going to learn about following the rules today. Let's see. So who's Diggory's friend? What's his friend's name? Drew. Hello, my name is Drew. And I've got a big surprise. I'll bet that you won't believe your eyes. <gasps> Ta-da! Do you see him? It's a dragon. Don't get scared. He isn't mean. Isn't he the coolest pet that you have ever seen? He's totally awesome. Let me show you the story. <laughs> I mean, the picture. Ta-da! He's so awesome. His name is Diggory Doo, and I've trained him to, to be good, to not do what he shouldn't, and to do the things he should. But since he was a little guy, he'd always misbehave. Let me tell you all about the trouble that he gave. So Diggory Doo was a mischievous little guy. And Drew was like his teacher. So Drew had to teach Diggory how to be a well-behaved dragon. That's like what we do for you guys every single day. Training Diggory was not easy, I will not deny it. Whenever I laid down the law, Diggory would defy it. Oh, look at this. Diggory is mad. He says, I'm a dragon, not a kid. Uh oh. And it's not fair one bit. Ooh. That I must do what humans do. He really threw a fit. Diggory's very upset. Hi, Ellie. This is my cat. She's over here listening to the story to you. It's a rule to brush your teeth. I think that's kind of smart. When Diggory grew his baby fangs, I told him he should start. But Diggory do refused to brush, and he began to pout. You'll change your mind someday, I said, when all your teeth fall out. So boys, make sure you are brushing your teeth because that's the rule to keeping your teeth inside your mouth. Another rule we follow, which my Diggory did not like, was he has to wear a helmet every time he rides a bike. So boys, when you're riding your bike, it's important that you wear a helmet because if something happens and you fall off your bike or somebody hits you, if you're not wearing a helmet, you could hurt your brain, okay? We don't want your brain to get hurt. It's very important. Literally. Please don't make me wear it. It's not cool, he said. Oh, no. 
I asked him if he thinks it's cool to fall and hurt his head. What do you think? Is that cool to fall and hurt your head? No. The rules say we must go to school five whole days a week. And when we're in the classroom, we must raise our hand to speak. I told Diggory, everybody follows rules in school. And you know what Diggory said? Diggory said, everywhere I go, I run into a rule. Let's see, he says rules, rules, rules. Rules keep people safe. Rules tell people what to do. Rules tell people what to expect. We went to see a movie and he brought his snacks along. Diggory, that's against the rules and breaking rules is wrong. You can't bring your food from home. That's not, that's not how it's done. If it weren't for rules. So, sorry Diggory, I just stepped on your, on your, uh, on your, on your lines. What did Diggory say? He says, if it weren't for rules, I'd have a lot more fun. Well, that's what Diggory thinks. Hmm, let's see. Diggory likes to play outside. I think all dragons do, and little boys do. But first he has to do his chores. Do you have that rule too? I have that rule. I can't play outside until all my chores are done. I can't watch TV until all my chores are done. I can't be on the computer until my chores are done. That's just how it is. I'm grown up, <laughs> so I have to do stuff too. Most grown ups do. Mom says he must make his bed and clean up all his mess. He cries and whines and stomps his feet as if he's in distress. So do some of you boys do that when mom says you need to pick up after yourself? Do you throw a fit? I think, I think so. Uh, some people do that, but is it okay? No, we should say, yes, mom. I will clean up my mess. I will do my chores. I will do as you ask because that's my job. One night, dad said, Diggory do, it's time to go to bed. But Diggory asked to stay up late to play his games and said, Diggory do, I said. This is a rule you need to keep. Boys and girls and dragons too all need a good night's sleep. That's true. And grown-ups also need a good night's sleep. Diggory wants to watch TV, but must do his homework first. Of all the rules he has to follow, he hates that one worst. There's a rule for everything. Diggory do said with a sigh. Aww. He wants to know, why can't I just do as I please? Oh, and then he began to cry. <laughs> he just wants to watch TV. But if he wants to watch TV, what does he have to do first, boys? He has to do his homework. Oh, Diggory, what does this say? I always have to follow rules. Oh, Diggory, stop complaining about the rules you must obey. Diggory do, I told him, how I wish you understood that although you do not like them, Having rules is good. It's, it's good to have rules. 
Look at him. He's like, no, I don't want to follow the rules. Ah, he's throwing a fit. Is that okay? No, he's a big boy. Well, he's a big dragon boy. He needs to, he needs to act as, as though he were one. <laughs> yes. Some rules will protect us and keep us safe from harm. If you obey them like you should, they work just like a charm. Like, look before you cross the street and never talk to strangers. Rules like that help us avoid unnecessary dangers. So if you are walking across the street and you don't watch where you're going, you could get run over by a car. Or if you talk to somebody that you don't know and they're not a safe person, they could put you in their car, take you home, and you won't see your parents again. That's not good either. Other rules are for our health. They keep our bodies fit, like brush your teeth and get your sleep and exercise a bit. It's important to brush your teeth so your teeth don't fall out. You don't have teeth, it's hard to eat. If you don't sleep enough, that's not good for your brain. And if you don't get any exercise, your body will get weak and then your whole body will get sick, things will happen, you might, you might die. We don't want that. Don't forget to take a bath and eat a healthy dinner. Follow these rules every day and you are sure to be a winner. Yay! So boys, we need to follow some rules brush our teeth, eat healthy, get exercise, follow directions from your parents, make good choices so you don't have bad consequences. I think Diggory too is teaching us a lot about things that in life. Yeah, Haley over here, she agrees. <laughs> Some rules govern how we act and help us get along. Speak real sweet to folks you meet. Admit when you are wrong. So if you say something or do something and you hurt somebody's feelings, and then they say, oh, that hurt my feelings. And you say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You fix. Other rules that we should follow help us get things done. Like first you finish all your work before you have some fun. So first you do your work, then you get to play. Diggory scratched his head and said, I not thought of that before. I now, I see now why we must have rules. I'll not fight them anymore. Diggory says, oh, okay, we have rules. I will, I will follow them. There's a cat behind my screen. <laughs> Haley, what are you doing? Trying to teach, trying to teach these boys the importance of following, following the rules. And you were, <laughs> you were behind my screen, silly kitty. Yeah, yeah, do you boys hear her? Yeah, she's purring now. She's a good kitty. Yeah, she's a good kitty. I'm so proud of my pet dragon. Hooray for Diggory Doo. He learned that rules are good to have for kids and dragons too. So boys, I hope you enjoyed that story. I know I enjoyed telling it to you. And Haley over here, she enjoyed the story too. 
So I will see you tomorrow with another story, okay? Bye, boys.